Hello everybody, it is the Ash Heritor, and we're back with Darkest Dungeon 2. So, last session, we made it through, uh, what was it? Was it the Tangle? No, it was the Fetter again. And we beat the boss, the Harvest Child, which was not too bad. Everybody's looking pretty damn good. We've got, you know, some negative quirks to go around, but... Overall, like, we're in good we're in good shape. We gave out a bunch of in items to people, so Barristan and Dismas have increased max health. Everybody has more um, bleed resist except for Audrey and Paracelsus because they have hemophobia. Except that they don't have hemophobia. Why why is this blocked by a trait? Ah, squeamish. That would be why. Okay. Um yeah, everybody's at very low stress, fully healed, we've got tons of food, we don't have much in the way of combat items, but at the same time, the Provisioner didn't have much in the way of particularly useful combat items either, so, yeah, not sure what to do about that. I've got all the trinkets that I want, there's really nothing else here that I feel like we need, I mean, we could get this for 25% bleed resist instead of 20, but... Eh. Eh. Yeah. Our, our stagecoach is set up. Got two storage trunks. Scouting chance for lairs and forgotten shrines, because those are interesting. Uh, I, I want to just quickly ask you guys, uh, if you're enjoying this, leave a like. Comment below. All of that helps placate the dreaded YouTube algorithm. And uh, will help this little channel get noticed. And maybe... Become a big boy channel someday. Wouldn't that be nice? Alright, let's get on with this. Embark! Journey onward. Cool. At last, the great ziggurat. Temples of failure and regret. Oh, it's a ziggurat now, is it? <laughs> that always bodes well. Oh, yeah. Okay. A nice gate. What's this? What's this gonna do? Hold on. I'm concerned. It's fine, apparently. The beautiful illusion that was the world. Fragmented and undone. Yeah. Well, let's kill some cultists. Uh, you wanna fight them, and... Come then, we're all in, so that'll give... That'll put a uh, weakened token on them. Give them no quarter, and you... Not bad, the view from up here. Not not bad, the view up here, <laughs> if it'll be our last. All right. Uh, come on, we're all in. Let's let's get the, uh, the weakened token on them. Deal a little bit of extra damage, maybe. Oh, dear lord, what are you? You look awful. And you're going first. Let's just swell. No, I'm going first. Um, ah, damn it, I didn't switch out my skills. Well, let's uh, try and blind this one. Nice. No, we didn't blind it, but it's it's dazed at least. We'll win the day, you'll see. I hope so, I really do. What's your blight resist? Only 10, all right. Um, let's get busy on that. I don't know what you do, so let's just try and stack those blights. Oh boy, the flesh warps. Oh dear. Ow. You inflict lots of pain. Crush. Let's crush the one in the back, right? Yeah. What technique? I'm taking notes. I really hope we actually beat this on our second try. That'd be really cool. Um, I could get stimulants, but at the same time, I kind of feel like... I should wait. Good damage. Very good. Alright. The Yawning Void. Well, I'm, I'm glad it missed. I'm not glad that that just happened, though. Okay. Uh, thankfully, Dismas will go, so he'll be able to put her into the next rank. And, yeah. Well, it's something. Alright. Get that, uh, stack that repost. You... 
Can't really do much other than use Noxious Blast on this guy, so I guess we'll blight him. Um, who else can we blight? Well, no one else really other than him, so... Nice! Combo! Good job, guys. He's going down. Alright, he'll be at Death's Door next turn. Hollow Vessel. Burn and Blight. Hmm. Delightful. That's just great. Uh, you can use Hold the Line on him, I guess, because it's the only one we can use it on. But now at least we, we have Plague Doctor in a position where she can do stuff. Ouch. Cleave damage. There hasn't been nearly as much cleave as the trailer made it seem like. Like, we haven't encountered too many enemies that hit the entire party. Uh, let's use Battlefield Medicine. You want to get rid of those status effects for sure. And, uh, what are you gonna do? Why don't you take aim? Get some tokens. Oh, nice, and it removes the, uh, immobilized? Or is that just is the immobilizers for one turn? Okay. Cool. And we need to start using the, uh, stress, or de-stress ability. Let's, um, land this to try and strip away that, uh, how many? You have three hit points left? Well, it could work. It did. Excellent. So now it's a death store. Hopefully it'll die. Poison. It did. Wonderful. Okay, uh, so, what is our course of action now? I think we're just gonna give him some good old walloping. Yes, again, like that! It'd be cool if with the yes again like that, he actually does it again like that. But, alas. Damn, that, that would have been a hard hit. I'm glad he had that armor. <laughs> Alright, Dismas. What are you gonna do? Yeah, damn, I wish I had the bleed. <laughs> I really do. Alright, let's land some uh, Duelist Advance, then you can get in there and do the point-blank shot next turn. And you can use Ounce of Prevention. Cooperation is Sorry guys, if you guys can hear that outside, there's some sort of heavy machinery out in the street nearby. I live smack dab in the middle of the city center, so... Yeah. Alright, let's uh, use Dead of Night, heal herself, de-stress, etc, etc. Alright. Ouch. Yeah, you, these guys do a lot of damage. But, it's okay. Barristan can tank it. He's got a lot of hit points. We should be able to kill him in just a moment. Um, we can't use Outs of Prevention again, unfortunately. So, let's just Noxious Blast him. Now he's blighted. So, there's a chance he'll just die on his own turn. Let's point blank him as well. And that'll do it. Cool. First cultist encounter. Done for. What do we get from it? Nothing. Okay. I mean, I guess it knocked the loathing down. Good enough. Uh, let's do what I said I was going to do. And switch out skills here. Uh, you're fine. You, I want Boldening Vapors for sure, so we can get rid of Noxious Blast. Because that'll be good. That'll be an attack buff and a speed buff. You, ditch Pistol Shot, because you're mostly up close anyways. Get Open Vein. Barristan, you're fine with what you have. Alright, cool. We're good. Uh, as far as combat items, does everybody have? Yeah, everybody has combat items. We have the the Icor grenade, but we'll see how necessary that is. Alright, so we keep going and we're gonna, I guess, fight more cultists. Oblivion's Ingus, yet again. Alright, what's it gonna be this time? Right, you lot, it's them or us. Formulas need battle testing. Time to put them in the ground. Alright, with a uh, dodge bonus? For sure. Give me that. Okay. Um, yeah, what, what to kill first? Honestly, I don't know. They're all really annoying. I think... Mm. Okay. Horror is not nice. But let's, uh, let's land a repost. Let's kill the big guy first. He does, I think, the most damage. And then let's land an ounce of prevention here. What do we want to do emboldening vapors first? No, we gotta... Mm, actually, let's do emboldening vapors. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's only on one character. Ah, that's not as good. Okay, good to know. Good to know. That's not nearly as good as I thought it would be. Um, 
Well, let's knock the horror off of her. Why did it show Dismas? Whatever, it's fine. Um, yeah, what to do? I think we just start picking him to the face, because that's been uh, doing wonders for us. Okay, the flesh warps. He's buffed. Melee attacks. Plus 50% damage taken. What, he takes more damage from melee attacks? That's weird. Or does he inflict more damage? Minus 50% damage taken. Ah! <laughs> I misread that. Okay, that's uh, yeah, that's a buff. Um, so we should be using ranged against him if we uh, want to do stuff. Well, let's uh, work on getting rid of some of your dodges because you have an awful lot of them right now. Um, and right now, I feel like we can use blinding gas on these two, right? Mistimed, misdirected. It'll be good to have him blinded. Sightless Miasma. Well, now she's not blinded. Never mind. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, unfortunate that you are in the middle, where that doesn't do much. But it's only taking decreased damage from melee attacks. So we have ranged attacks that we can use. I can see the leader in you. I personally can't because you're a highwayman. But you know, it's all right. Point blank. Nice. Good, and we got a combo on him too. Which means that, uh. Barristan here might be able to. Or Barristan or, uh, Audrey. Ow, full cleave. Not nice. But luckily we. We actually dealt more than we took there, overall, I would say. At least it feels that way. Alright, so now, uh, we should use Ounce of Prevention. Decrease some stress. Crisis, we can rely only upon each other. And duelist advance. Empowered, what we, yeah, yeah. It doesn't use up the combo. Good. All right. Well struck. Indeed. Well, it wasn't that much damage. <laughs> what is this? Uh oh. <laughs> I don't like that. Let's uh, trigger the combo here and see if we can kill this guy. Oh, he's at death's door, so that's nice. That was for you. <laughs> I'm sure Barristan is impressed by your proficiency with swinging mining picks into people's faces. I am impressed by it. Alright, uh, so it's got dodges. Which is unfortunate. But I really want to kill it. So let's try and strip those dodges away so that we can get rid of this damn thing. Um, unfortunately, Paracelsus is not the person to do that. Um, but let's see here. Blinding gas again? Yeah, for sure. It missed on both of them, of course, because you're blinded yourself. Which is unfortunate. Now she's horrored. Alright, let's use Wicked Slice to ignore 20% of the death blow resist. Let's see if we can just delete that one. Wonderful. It's gone. Okay, you're at low health too. Not before you dish out some hurt to Dismas here. Dismas is fine. He's actually quite tanky at the moment. And, um... Let's death blow you. Wonderful. Yeah, that they do. Alright, so we want to bolster, get rid of the horror on, uh... Paracelsus. Cherub is going to enfeebling miasma onto... Alright, that just strips some debuffs. That's or it strips some buffs from him, which is fine. Um, so we need to, a way to attack rank four, which we don't have at the moment, which is unfortunate. So let's let's take aim. We'll be able to get rid of uh, the big corpse here as soon as uh, Audrey goes. And you, why don't you land a uh, grenade, strip its debuffs away? And you can eat the corpse. Now he's up close. Let's smack down the babies. <laughs> baby. One baby. Alright, uh, let's use open vein. Nice damage. And it's bleeding. And, yeah. Ounce of prevention. Cooperation is the key. And it's dead. In crisis, 
We Good. Can rely only I hate on screaming the winged three-armed babies. Not fun to be around. All right, we got the loathing down to festering. That's good. This gate, well, it seems quite close. It seems to be a bit farther away than I thought it was. But the nightmare gate is revealed. Beyond, only infernal nihility and non-existence. Well, that just sounds swell. Let's uh, let's get in there. Ah, it continues onward. Hey, this is like the intro. Ah, that's, uh, that's a brain. With the cultist thing on it. Interesting. Well, I'm guessing this is what the cultists were worshipping. The mind must be freed of its self-imposed incarceration. What the hell is this? Padlock. Nile of Fortitude. What the hell? Health lock. Cannot use healing skills or items, I'm guessing, until this thing is destroyed? Oh my god. Or is it just for one turn? What's going on here? <laughs> I don't like this. Um, does this work? Holy water? I don't know. I don't feel like using it now, though. But this thing seems like a good idea to take out. I don't know what these other ones do, but... Let's, um... Can we... We can blight them. Let's just start stacking blights on these other two. Because she can't attack rank 1 and 2. Overwhelming anguish. Alright, so you do, uh... A lot of damage. Great. I hate it. Um... We gotta get rid of this healing one, otherwise we're gonna die. <laughs> I don't know what the other ones do. Alright, Crippling Doubt. You do... Damage and stress. Okay, you're the... Thus far the least dangerous. Paralyzing fear. Alright, so that, I think, is stun resist. So this one stuns. You do a crap load of single target damage, and you prevent us from healing. You're the first target, padlock of wasting. I don't like you. Honestly, I feel like screaming at them to reduce their speed is not a bad idea right now. Um, they... Surprisingly, can be blood. Let's use stimulants. Seems like a good call at the moment. And, uh... Let's get the reposts going. Okay! Cool. It's just a one-turn thing. Denial of reach. Oh god, what is this? Ranged lock. Cannot use ranged skills or items. Ugh. Horrible. Um... <laughs> So we can use stimulants on more people. So I could use it on Grave Robber here. She doesn't use ranged. What can you do? Um, oh, I mean, I guess we can try and bleed it, right? It doesn't... Yeah, I mean, it's a lock. But that being said, it seems like it's kind of fleshy. Probably is, knowing this game. Um, no, Battlefield Medicine. Oh, we can use Battlefield Medicine, and I will, because I am rather injured. In fact, let's land that on on her as well. Uh, yeah. Let's get picked to the face going. We really gotta get rid of this one. I, I really don't like it. As much damage as possible. This one is next to go. Yeah, three stress and uh, a solid amount of damage. Paralyzing fear. Nice, we reposted it. That uh, stuns, yeah. That is no very annoying. And you're stunned as well? Oh, damn. Denial of reason. Can I use stress heal items or skills? Okay. For one turn, I mean, that's... That is bad. But it's not the worst. Can I blind them? I, I, I guess I can. Well, I blinded that one, at least. So that's something. Um... Yeah. Let's get rid of this one. Try to. We got combo all around the board. Which is good. Alright, you're stunned as well. It's very annoying. Cerebral Falter. Oh god. That sounds awful. Crippling Doubt. 
Is this the final boss, by the way? Or is it at least the final boss of the early access? It, it kind of seems that way. We were aiming for the mountain. Alright, we have health lock now. That is... that is bad. But you're dead. It still keeps the health lock. Alright. Um, yeah, let's kill the stunning one. Hardly impressive. Come on, guys. Don't start fraying right now. Uh, point blank shot? Yeah. Didn't knock back. I guess they're probably immune to knock back, but... Alright, so we can use ounce of prevention now. There is comfort in company. Get rid of stress, because we are creeping up there, stress-wise. Alright, you're gonna do Bolt of Lamentation. Okay, not a fan. And you're going now. Please don't kill her. That would make me incredibly sad. Audrey is... Okay. I'm glad that they're attacking them. I'm not happy about the damage we're taking. We are taking a crap ton of damage. Oh no, don't go again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, it's just a, uh... Alright. Can't use melee skills? Damn. Okay, we gotta defend her. Alright, and we need to use... Right back from the brink. That's good. That was clutch. Alright. Yeah, not being able to use melee skills is rough. All we can do is take aim then. Buff ourselves up for the next turn. Overwhelming anguish on... Okay, yeah, right. He's blocking. Great. It's very solid. Okay, she can't do too much, but she can use Absence. So first of all, I'm going to use the Healing Salve on Paracelsus. And then she's going to Absinthe herself. She is at, uh... Yeah. Oh, it needs to be below 25%. God damn it. She's like... She's at 25% chance, but yeah, not below 25%. So it's not going to heal. Uh, a shame. Let's, uh... Yeah, we just gotta focus them down one at a time. You can, uh, do we want to reduce their speed again? I think so. Yeah, they're at minus 10 speed now. Which means we should go for us next turn. Which means we can ideally take out one of them. Alright, what is this? No ranged attacks? That's, that's fine. Let's, uh... Get this going. Okay, you pick to the face. Yes, please. Not as much damage as I would have liked. And Battlefield Medicine. Yes, please. You be on healing duty. Alright, we couldn't get rid of them, but... God! Alright, well, at least it's dead now. That was a lot of damage, though. These hurt. And then I'm assuming we have to fight the brain right afterwards, so... Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of this thing. This thing's doing a lot of a lot of work against us. Nice, it missed. I like that, and we got a combo. We are going first. No, we're not. Stress lock. Can't you stress heal? That's not the worst right now. I mean, it's not great, but you're close to a meltdown. I don't like that. Not one bit. Ounce of prevention. Needs to be under 50%. Oh no, answer prevention is stress heal, which isn't going to do anything for us. So, why don't you buff him up? Boldening vapors. Make him do a bit more damage. Because he's going to point blank this thing. We've got a combo on both of them, which is great. You can do it! I can help! Good. 12 damage, that'll give him a, uh, a block token. And she's gonna pick to the face against this one for extra crit. Nice. Taking them both down. I should be focusing one, but they had the, the double combo tokens, so... And I don't think you can stack combo tokens, unfortunately. Alright, we are taking a bit of uh, work here. Shit. Alright. Let's try and take this one down soon. She's pretty low. Um, but now we can use Ounce of Prevention, and we will, because we are very close to max stress, especially with her. Dismas, for some reason, is just like, fine. He's like, I, I don't care. <laughs> um, we're gonna defend Audrey. She's a little, quite low. Oh, come on, guys. 
You'll win the day. We'll see. Or you'll see. All right, Audrey. Um, well, now I think she can absinthe. She can. Excellent. Do it. That's some good buffs and a good heal. Fortunately, these guys don't leave corpses for her to uh, loot or eat or whatever it is she does with the corpses. Let's not talk about it. Leave me alone, all of you! All right, she just had a meltdown. It's not good. Resentful. Yeah, Paracelsus is kind of our weak link in terms of party cohesion. Now she's a death star, so she's very much our weak link. Can we go before her? Oh god, we can't. Uh, we have to heal her in some way. Oh boy. No ranged abilities, that's okay. Alright. Can we heal her? We can. Cool, thank you. And let's please get rid of him. He's so close to dead. Alright, hopefully one hit. Yeah, good. Taking vengeance for Paracelsus, even though she's not dead yet. But hey, I like that he's just healing. Yeah. Goodbye. Alright, the brain is lowering. Ah, they're weights! Of course, they're like counterweights, and this will lower the brain down. Very, uh, Bloodborne Brain of Mensis, kind of. Getting that vibe here. The brain isn't quite as disgusting <laughs> as the Brain of Mensis, but... Uh, this is interesting. The locks. What are they locking out? I mean, these are all great emotions. We had lamentation, despair, uh, which are kind of almost the same things, but not quite. Emboldening Vapors onto Audrey here. Let's get rid of you. Ugh, not quite, but we got the uh, assist from uh, Barristan. It's really almost dead. It's at three life. Glory hound, aren't you? Come on, guys. Or mostly, come on. Paracelsus. She's being a bit of a problem. All right, let's point blanket. Goodbye. And down comes the brain. Is it within reach? What happens now? Shackles destroyed. Okay. Ah, so the cultist must have been imprisoning it. And experience. Right? Twin yardsticks of progress. What? Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. What? Did we win? Do not despair. There is nobility in the attempt. I mean, early access and all, but that was very anticlimactic. A, that was a pretty easy fight. B, I thought we were going to have to fight the brain. But alright, I guess we won, unless this is just a fake out to let your guard down. Be like, oh, we won. We're, we're all calm and fine now, and then straight back into the thick of it. But, alright, we unlocked some stuff. We'll take a look at that when we take a look at it. Yeah, alright, we... We won. Well, um... Okay. While the flame still burns... Yeah, let's let's uh go to the inn here. Indistinct. Okay, it doesn't lighted. No compass awaits you here. Doesn't unlock the next thing. That's what I was kind of expecting. Like, are these difficulty levels? Like you have to beat the game and then you unlock the next one? They're kinda like the Hades heat system or the boss cell system in um fuck, dead cells. Uh, but apparently not. Let's go, uh, let's do it again, though. Let's jump straight back in. We, we unlock destroyed. two new characters, and we still have the Hellion to play around with, so I'm gonna try and make a party with those three. And somebody to heal. We'll have to look at them in any case. Who will step forward into the light? Yeah. Alright, so, we have a Jester. Unchained melodies played feverishly with loot and blade. His name is Sarmenti. Uh, I like that name. It's very cool. He's got head in the sand. Oh, 15% chance to get blinded every time he's damaged? That's terrible. Um, if his hit points are... Okay, Clutch Hitter, if his hit points are less than 50%, he deals pl plus 10% crit. Plus 10% crit chance or plus 10% crit damage? I don't know. Probably crit chance. Alright, the Runaway. Bonnie. The new character. I've been looking forward to playing her. Uh, she looks pretty awesome. She's got her, like, big backpack, tattered cloak, a, uh, <laughs> a fire poker. <laughs> Stress knitter. Alright, I still don't know what that does. We had Audrey have it once, but I didn't really see any effects of it. Uh, a loud and proud. 
I don't know what that is. All right. Fire and smoke, destruction and concealment. She is predominantly a front rank. Well, let's put her in rank two then. Nothing remains save a burning will to survive. And then Jester is. I'm gonna put him here. So we are gonna take him. He's gonna be a stress heal. A murderous melody lingers long after the final chord has been struck. Nice. And then we're gonna get Hellion. In the front rank. Alright, what does she have? She has ascetic denial of pleasure in order to refine the spirit. Okay. Pacifist. 5% chance to gain a horror on attack. That's not very good. But, alright, whatever. Beneath bloodlust and fury, there is emptiness. And shame. And then I feel like we have to bring Paracelsus because we need a healer. Science stains the surgeon's hands. Because we don't have other healers. Everyone. Well, it seems like most characters have a self. Uh, some characters have a self heal. Audrey has a self heal. Does anybody else have a self heal? No, these two don't. So never mind. I'm just saying absolutely nothing. But she's sneaky. Likes to say hidden and evasive and braggart. Even victory, real or imagined, recounted for all time and time again. All right, she likes to brag. Alright, um, so we have, we can equip her, yeah, cool, we can equip the skills that we want for her, so I definitely want to continue using Battlefield Medicine and Ounce of Prevention, for sure. Um, play Grenade, so Emboldening Vapors, in that case I wasn't super thrilled on. Um, we get Blinding Gas and Noxious Blast. Yeah, you only get the first five skills, because that's all you have, and... Yeah, actually, let's look at, see what he has. So, he has a forward movement skill that gives him a dodge token and deals a bit of damage. And that he can use from back ranks. Alright, that's cool. Fade to black, which he uses up at the front. He can blind somebody, deal some damage, and move back. Okay, that's pretty cool. Slice off from mid rank to deal bleed to enemy mid rank. Okay, much like it was in game one. These two are different, though, which is nice. Battle Ballad. Ah, it doesn't stress heal. No, it was Inspiring Tune that stress healed. Okay. Um, so this makes a target move forward and gives them a an attack buff, a strengthened buff. An Inspiring Tune removes two stress from a target. If they're at... Requires target above... Stress above 50%, so he can't use it... Oh yeah, right. Stress counts upward, so... Yeah, they have to be stressed out already in order for this to be used. Okay. It's alright. It's not as good as it used to be. So, the runaway. This is completely new. Um, so you have a front rank, or like, deal to the front half of the enemies from the front half of our own ranks. Deal decent damage and burn. That's cool. Uh, we have a back rank less damage, but more burn. Burn. Nice. I like that she has some back rank utility. Especially with a party that's going to dance with the Jester. Smokescreen. Okay, just a, a double blind token. That's nice. Run and hide. Um, move back and stealth. Okay, interesting. And Hearthlight uh, allows... Oh, wow, it straight up strips stealths away from the entire enemy party. Could be good. I'm interested to see what they all upgrade into for all three of these characters. Then, yeah, Hellion we already uh, took a look at, so... Let's, uh, let's get on with it. Yes, the signpost to my life. Thank you, Darkest Dungeon, for reminding me. Alright. The valley. We'll go through the valley, and then I'll think I'll end the session. Onward. Get to the first inn. hope enough yet remains of the world. Yeah. Alright. Our first supply cache. Wealth and possessions bundled into this meager pile. Um, Alright, we got some decent items. Uh, some good in items. Whiskey, yeah, this is good. Stress healing. Oh. Yeah, this is a new trinket. That, okay, that's, that's interesting. Plus 15% range damage, that's quite good. Unfortunately, I don't have any ranged characters, except for Paracelsus. Um... <laughs> Who doesn't really... Like, her ranged attacks don't really do ranged damage. Um, but let's look and see. Like, your... 
where, where the hell does it say if this is melee or ranged? Yeah. Uh, that's maybe useful to include in the tooltip. I mean, some of it's straightforward, right? But... Some of it's a bit confusing. Alright, we've got combat items. Um, so we've got holy water. Kind of want to give the holy water to um, him. And then we've got the bandages, which we'll give to Paracelsus. Alright, we've got trinkets. So the 15% max HP I want to give to Boudica. She'll, she's going to be our tank. Uh, not as tanky as Barrison. This is going to be a much squishier party. And then as far as ranged attacks go, like, it's basically her. Like, she's got Plague Grenade and Noxious Blast, but they do so little damage. So you have Firefly that also doesn't do much damage. Whatever, I'm giving it to her. It's plus 15% chance, or plus 15% range damage. It's probably not going to do anything, but... Interminable faculty mixers became something of a delight. Knowing we'd abscond to a quiet table and lose ourselves in riveting discussion and passionate debate. Alright. Telling more of uh, the ancestor's story with the mysterious person he was talking to about how he met this person and irrevocably sealed their own doom for both of them uh, because of this meeting. So I'm guessing this person is who led the ancestor to begin his occult studies and maybe started to uh, push him along towards discovering the secrets hidden beneath the manor and thus the unknowable cosmic terror hidden down there, which then, he <laughs> by the events of the first game, end up being unleashed upon the world. What do we want to do? The runaway, um, the wind feels warmer, keep the flame burning. That's that's a thick flame buff. We're at eight darkness. Yeah, that's good. All right, everybody wants to do stuff here. All right, we'll we'll go with Bonnie. In crisis, no Get some food. I'm glad it's not slime molds. Seems like we're getting better food now. Do you see my masterful driving? I've gotten so much better at this. Remember how trash I was. That Darkest Dungeon 2 cart. Now I'm just... I am abiding by traffic safety laws. Mostly. A little bit of swerving. It's okay. Winds whip more harshly on the far side of the road. Driving on the right side of the road. As you can see, I'm not English. Reverberating in the void. You can probably tell from my uh, accent that I'm... Not English. Also. The come to think of it. Of your denial is giving way. Yeah, is it? Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. That's what he just said. The bulwark of our denial is giving way. Is that implying that we do this one more time and then we can't get through the denial stage and get on to the next one? Whatever that might mean. Alright, what do we want to do here? So we could weaken both of them? Why the hell not? Well, it only weakened one of them. And now you're winded. Eh. It's not... It's okay. It's okay. I want to see what it upgrades into, because yop, I don't know. Yeah, you don't give stress heal, right, just yet, but you will. Alright, Noxious Blast. We can stack a burn on him as well. Oh, that's such a cool flourish with the fire poker. Oh man, that's really cool. Alright, and then what, do we bleed him too? <laughs> no, we can't bleed him, but we can bleed this one. Uh, he resisted. Okay. Steady yourself. We have a very squishy party. <laughs> Just a bit concerning. <laughs> right, uh, you'll be dead. So let's get to work on him. God, she looks so cool. <laughs> well... Slice off. Well, I mean, might as well. Right? Death blow him, and then he'll just die. We Noxious Blast him. 
Means Get a mastery, great. We know exactly where that's going. But I do want to actually look at the masteries. Um, let's just see. Maybe, maybe there's something actually that I want more than ounce of prevention. Rest and resupply await you. Okay, this time I'm swerving deliberately, alright? Here we are, at the, uh, what was the first inn called again? The place is a little Torch worse and work. Crown. But familiar, no nice, no. more friendliness between the party, that's great. Um, so I think, uh, using playing cards right now is a great idea. Again, Paracelsus not getting along with everybody. Uh, is there anybody that we want to get rid of two stress on? I think so. Let's get rid of two stress on her. Oh, select two recipients. Great. Share a whiskey. Relationship is tested. Are they friendly? Respectful. Excellent. Starting off well. Excellent. I like it. Uh, we didn't take any damage, so that's cool. Masteries. Alright, so Wild Hack will deal more damage and will crit more. Uh, Iron Swan will deal more damage and will crit more. It's basically the same move, just with different targets. Barbaric Yop. Alright, here, here we go. Um, so it still makes herself winded. It removes stealth. It gives two weakened tokens. And it gives... Whatever that debuff is, I still don't know what it is when they have combo tokens. If it bleeds, ignores 30% of bleed resistance when they have a combo token, and it bleeds three instead. And toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I haven't used this one yet. So toe-to-toe -to -toe moves her forward, roots her, and then taunts for two turns. And it'll remove winded. Okay. I see how that goes now. A little bit of self-synergy. Uh, I'm not going to invest in her advancements just yet, though. All right. Bonnie. So this will deal more damage. We'll crit harder. We'll burn more. And on combo, we'll burn a random adjacent monster. That's really cool. Um, we just need a way to deal combo. Firefly. We'll burn for a lot more. <laughs> okay. It's basically the same. But more burn, less damage. Uh, as the move was. And then, of course, the, the where it can attack from and what it can attack is different. Smokescreen. Ah... This gives combos, and a weaken and double blind. Damn! That's... that's good. <laughs> Alright, maybe maybe I do that. I still, like, ounce of prevention is just so damn good to keep the stress levels mitigated. That I'm probably still going to do that first, with our first mastery point. But from there... Okay, so this is a uh, self-heal. So It's a little self-heal, but it's something. It's only heal, heal three. Eh. Then hearth light. So this originally removes... Stealth from the entire enemy team. And it ignores stealth, and it ignores... I, I'm assuming it ignores her own blind, and it removes all blind from allies. Okay, that's pretty good. She's cool. I like her. Also, she looks pretty cool. Sarmenti. It's such an awesome name. Alright, um... Nice! Okay, we got uh, another way to stack combo with Razor Wit. Uh, that does require him to dance, though. Okay. The Fade to Black also combos. Uh, and blinds. And does good damage with good crit. God damn. Slice off. Will inflict vulnerable. This will... Ah, oh, it removes combo token from allies. And has a 15% chance of increasing... Uh, putting a... Is that a crit token? Yeah, it's Okay. It's so, alright. An inspiring tune? Yeah, it removes horror and removes more stress. Yeah, that's good. That is good. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be boring and do ounce of prevention first. Alright? Then from there we're gonna look at the new characters. I'm not gonna do anything else with Plague Doctor. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Uh, let's see what type of provisions. Oh, we got the Wayne right here. Um, a new variable in the equation of your fate. You know what? I kind of feel like renaming the characters here, so let's let's do that. Um, what are we gonna rename Paracelsus? Hmm. The 
What's a good doctor? Any famous... Any famous female scientists? Um, God damn, there's, there's plenty of them, and I'm blanking on their names. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with this in my own time. So you guys aren't sitting here. Um, I, I will uh, look up some names and potentially give them off. Although, that being said, like it's only Paracelsus that needs renaming, so we'll, we'll probably just do that. Alright, um, quickly look at the Provisioner. See what he has to sell. Relics remind us of a time Chance of purging a negative came. quirk. Oh, damn. That's great. I'm gonna grab it. I'm also gonna grab this. Because that's also really good. I don't know if I need it now, but... Uh, let's actually look at our route. I could go through the slice. Right, I, don't, I don't know if I want to go through the slice. Um... Ooh, wind chime. That's... That's good. Yeah, hell yeah. We want to go through the sprawl then. All that beauty and knowledge. Ash on the wind. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, chance to purge negative quirks, but right now, um, we're not getting the stress out of it, so I'm gonna hold on to it. This could be good. But I don't know if we need it now either. I would give it to, uh, these two, but... Alright, guys, I think this is a good place to call the session. Remember, if you've enjoyed it, like. If you haven't subscribed and you want to see more of this, subscribe, ring the bell. And uh, more will be coming, for sure. Alright guys, catch you all later.